Creating character animation these days has become quite easy to do, or at least have access to. We have a bunch of consumer motion capture suits, or you have the video to AI animation. But one thing you will notice is that most of the results are, will still need some level of finance of going in and cleaning the animation data. But the nature of the rig which you get from this motion capture data kind of make it a bit tricky to fix things like leg floating or the knees not looking the way you want to. Um, and that rig is usually the FK rig which is just um, based on rotation and it kind of makes it difficult compared to the IK rig where you have um, more complex system that will help you. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to convert your animation and transfer it into an IK rig with just a simple FBX. It's quite easy I, I bet I tell you honestly and how to go ahead and fixing your animation. So if you're ready let's get into it and by the way this is the Sunday tutorial which I'm trying to make a thing. I'm going to try to be very um, committed to producing videos Sunday, Tuesdays and Thursday. So if you would like to see that, subscribe now and get ready for a lot of very insightful tutorials like this one. Okay, so let's get started. We want to go ahead and import that file. Usually the file you get is like an FBX. So we can go to import FBX and we'll go ahead and get the one we got from the um, deep motion animation. So we can click on that with just the default setting and what do we get? Oh, we have something looking like this. Um, it's nice but it's, it's not usable for us for this um, instance. So we want something more usable so we have to play with the settings. And we're going to select this and then let's go to the settings. If you don't find this, you press the end and it should come out. Okay, so uh, we're going to leave most of the stuff here as default. We want to scroll down to amateur. Um, this is where we'll be doing most of the changes. So we want to click on automatic bone orientation and ignore leaf bones. So this kind, the leaf bones are basically bones that are not deforming the bones and probably unnecessarily, unnecessary. So we want to go ahead and delete them. Once we have that, we can click on import FPX and this is what we have. We have it looking much better and the animation looks good. I'm not going to use this particular Blender uh, native importer. I'm going to use one I purchased and has been quite awesome for me. So it's a better FBX importer. And yeah, so you can, I just showed you guys that in case you don't have access to this, you can always, um, you have another alternative of importing it. So either will work. Okay, so we have our animation in the scene and let's look at what we have. Uh, it's, it's a decent job. We can give it like 60% uh, out of 100. Uh, we get overall feel, but we want to kind of push this to feel more natural. Um, we can notice the feet is floating a bit and it's, yeah. Okay, so let's um, get right into it. Let's uh, select the rig and go into pose mode. I'm going to set this in front so we can see our rig and selecting everything. I'm going to hit Alt R, Alt G and Alt S. So we have it as default. If we select one of the bones and move it, we can see it's quite disconnected from the from each other so we could have done that in the settings but it's quite risky to do that there um, it might import the animation with it looking all weird so we want to do that right here in the viewport because we will be adding our own IK system on top of this rig to be able to transfer all the animations uh, so for that we're going to select uh, basically you want to understand the hierarchy um, the top leg will deform the lower leg uh, is the parent of the lower leg and the, the, the foot is the child of this so if you rotate, you can use this to kind of determine what bones have the hierarchy. Uh, so I'm going to select the left foot and select this and control P, connect. So we just want to connect them like this, like this and connect. And connect. Okay, so we'll do that for the hands. Connect and also the shoulder. And let's do this last section. Connect and connect and connect. Okay, so we're good for the first part. And the animation hasn't been spoiled. It looks good and we are good to go. There are a couple of ways you could kind of integrate your own or fake the IK system here in Blender. Uh, if we can the pose mode, if you, I'm kind of looking for, 
if you press uh, shift n or you hit the tool and go to tools you can enable um, auto ik so this is going to fake the ik and this wouldn't have worked previously if we had the bones or disconnected uh, that's why i initially had to connect other bones so we have this which you could use to fake but we don't have this nice you know the hip uh, moving and the leg staying in place we want to kind of recreate that so to do that we want to create ik controllers and then we transfer the animation onto the ik controllers and then we make it drive the leg rather than the fk so it's quite easy so we're going to select this tool and extrude it select them alt p we'll clear our parent and let's do one for the knees so you can basically even create one for the hands and create one for the head and everything and transfer your animation um, that will work nice okay going to end the timeline there so to basically transfer the animation we want to first copy the animation we want to first copy the transformation of the animation and to do that we want to add constraints on each of these controllers to follow the appropriate bones okay so there are a couple of ways you could add constraints in blender you can select the bone and go to the constraint tab right here and go we'll be using the child of to copy all this information and you want to search for the respective bone you can select the bone press f2 copy and then paste so now if we rotate this bone this controller follows it okay or there's a faster way which you could do that you could select um, this which is what the way you want to be the technical parent and you select this the child last and press ctrl shift c and select the constraint it's automatically going to fill it up for you so we're going to do that for the rest and quickly have everything set up okay so if we play the animation we can see all the controller bones which we created are following the appropriate bone okay so once you're happy with that uh, we can go ahead and bake the animation so to bake the animation you press f3 to bring out the shortcut and you want to search for bake action so we click on that and make sure you have all your bones selected if not it's not going to, it's going to kind of mess things up so the fk rig is pretty simple rig so you just select all and it's going to select all existing bone uh, so we want to have only selected bones we want to have visual key and we want to have clear constraints so we can remove the child of constraint once we are done okay so def by default it's going to automatically set the end frame to the frame you have on your timeline and yeah you can just go ahead and hit okay so if we play the animation everything looks good and now it's time to add our ik constraint uh, but before that we can go ahead and delete the keyframes for the leg the foot and the toes so we'll rotate and clear that so let's make sure we still have our animation for the rest and we have animation for our future ik controllers so now let's set up our ik controllers using the shortcut method which i showed you earlier you can do select now the, uh, this is going to be the parent and this is going to be the child so we select this and shift select this country shift c inverse schematics we want to go ahead and set this to um, length of two and we can do the same thing and add set this as one two and one okay so if we move this now we have our ik system so currently we are not able to rotate the foot bone which we want to be able to do to just have quick access to it uh, so you can select this shift select this control shift c child off i know most figures with round edges but it's fine it's just for fixing stuff um select this shift select this control shift c child off and yeah we're good um, but before we move on we want to remove the this rotation because now if we rotate this we want to disable this inherit rotation for each of the foot and now if we move this downwards we get this okay, working appropriately and we can use the knees controller to fix things and the great thing if we play the animation we have the previous animation which we created so it's very easy and now you can basically easily control your uh, and fix your animation uh, so let's go ahead and do that 
So the next step is using animation layer to layer our fix. So for that, let's bring up the um, bring up this editor, which is the non-linear animation editor. So we have our action here, uh, which is noted. Um, if you click on it, you can see the name. I don't know. Anyways, if you click on this icon, it's going to kind of clear the keyframes, but the animation is now um, noted in the strip, and we can go ahead and add our animation on top of it. So we want to click on, um, you can basically insert a new keyframe to add a new strip, or you can go ahead and add action strip, um, you can tell it to add new track, I think. Uh, probably not. So you, let's insert keyframe first. And now delete the keyframe. Or just leave it first. Let's do some set um, changes. We want to go and make sure we have this selected. And this you have to make sure this is selected. And switch this. Um, the blending, we want to switch it to combine. At first, you have this kind of wonky stuff. That's fine. We delete that. And let's play it. And now if we add any keyframe, it's going to act as expected. Um, yeah, so the foot you can choose, have cho chosen to kind of keep it, but it's fine. It's something we can fix. OK, it's so actually looking good. Add keyframe, let's see if that. Oh, yeah, uh, one important thing, why we're having that one key movement. Um, you want to make sure you're hiding all the bones with constraint. Blender doesn't react well with that. If you have both the controller and the bone with constraint inside and in, in an animation section session and you add keyframe on the board, it's going to have one key motion. So you want to hide out in another recollection layer, basically. Uh, okay, so if we add keyframe now, we should not have that. So we want to... That's setting up, uh, we want to start fixing things. Um, the way we'll go about it is to keep key poses that you get from your base animation and fix as you go along. So we have the first key pose here. We have another, we just, I mean, you can just eyeball it, there's no rule to it. So we have another one here. I am just inserting keyframe. Um, the way you can have that work automatically, if you, by default, this is set to this, and if you press I to insert keyframe, you get this menu. But you can go to key in here and set a default, so location, rotation, and scale, so it can be automatic for you. Okay, so we insert keyframe there. So it's just random, um, depending on the amount of work you want to do, you can kind of insert keyframe for every frame. Um, probably insert another keyframe here, so it's kind of even. And now you can basically go in and start fixing. So I'm going to turn on auto keying and let's go to the first frame. So of course you want to look at your reference and eyeball where the animation is going and you can quickly start posing stuff. You can go around and make sure it's looking good. If we turn on the auto IK, you can select and actually move things. It's like you have an awesome rig. Um, yeah, so I think we didn't move this. Okay, so yeah, we want to. So you want to kind of gradually build it. You can have multiple layers. Um, if you have access to the Poopa Animate Pro, my add-on, um, you have you can easily manage that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll just eyeballing things, you can go in and start fi really fixing your animation. You already have the base, and this this makes it easier for you to extends so probably we can emphasize certain motions 
Now we have the power of God. <laughs> oh. You can really like have full control over like basically the rig and work more fun and fixing have more fun, sorry, in fixing things. I'm going to add a ground plane so I can see easily when it's penetrating the floor and add auto, um, random, we have it here, probably at this position I want to have the foot flat, so this is something you would not have been able to do with um, the IK contr um, controller, so this makes it easier for you to kind of go in and really adjust things. So I'm going to pause the video and be back once I'm done. Okay, so I'm done and we can see the result. For compare and contrast, I'm going to import the the, the start base animation which we had. So let's uh, import think you have to be in object mode and Oh, let that import. Okay, and delete all this keyframe and move it. So this is the the start base, and this is the final. So you can see the color difference. And it was made possible because of the nature of the rig. So if you have an IK rig, it's easier to fix things. Um, um, let's say, I think there's something we could fix. Right here, you could just easily push this. So we have auto keyframe. So easy to fix. You just move it. Make sure it kind of flows well. And if you can move the rig easily something you couldn't have been able to do. Okay, there you go. So yeah, that's the tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you wish to see more for me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope this was awesome for you. So that's it guys, bye bye for now, see you next time.